What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Zeely Big Bang Zhang. Get this. Team Zhang states that they're not underestimating Parker. Wilder totally looked past him. Okay. Zeely Zhang's trainer is certain that his focus heavyweight um, is taking Joseph, P Joseph Parker seriously than Deontay Wilder did. Okay. And Sean George had this to say about about his fighter. He said, we're not underestimating Parker. Everybody just assumed immediately that Parker was shot, that he was gone, and that he was done. Wilder looked like he didn't want to be there. We're focused. Zeely wants to be there. He wants to be active, and he just comes to fight. We're, we're coming to fight, coming to box, and coming to win, and we're going to keep winning, okay? Um, he said, there could be a lot of different things going on with Wilder right now, said George, a retired light heavyweight. Maybe he has one foot out the door already. Everybody was talking about how happy he looked during the whole fight week, kind of, kind of kumbaya. So it could have been a lot of different things, or maybe he just totally looked past Parker, which he definitely did. He thought all he had to do was show up and then Parker was going to fold. But Parker showed that, no, I'm right here. I'm here to win. I'm here with a game plan. Him and Andy Lee, they came down with a game plan. So you can't underestimate somebody that has a will to win. You can't underestimate a competitor and Joseph Parker and Andy Lee, his coach, are competitors. So we're going to train with respect, said Mr. George. And let me counterpunch. I hope this is so. I do agree totally about Wilder. He may have one foot out the door. He definitely, you know, thought that he had a better chance. He thought that it, the, the competitiveness from Joseph Parker wasn't going to be there. He thought the magic happens when he throws the punch and lands the shot. That's what he banked on. And a lot of people banked on it. And we already know about that. But the important thing is, because that's the past, is the future. Will Zilly Zhang do that? You know, and I hope not because Zili Zhang has done something to a fighter. You know, everybody, it seems like everyone is finding out about everyone else. You know what I mean? If the last two years we're finding out a lot about fighters that we didn't know. But I think that's the name of the game. You fight the best and then people show you what the result are based on their fighting performance, based on what happens when they fight. You know, um, if you go back two years to 2022, Joshua was fighting Alexander Usyk for the title. People thought he would knock out Usyk. That didn't happen. You know, Joe Joyce was just knocking over people, putting them down, you know, beating them up. You know, he did one of his most impressive wins against Joseph Parker by being the per first person to stop him. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everything looked good. Tw 2023, a total reversal. We had Joseph Parker winning fights under the radar, rebuilding. We had Joe Joyce getting knocked out and stopped for the first time in his career by fighting Zili Zhang. You know, we had Anthony Joshua also rebuilding his career and then making Wileen quit, first person that ever done that, might I add. You know what I mean? And and Wilder being beat by Parker. So there's a lot of things that happen differently. This year, I expect no different. You know, we will we will see and separate the men from the boys when it when or the men from the young men. Let's say that when these guys fight, you know, and it's a good thing. Uh, they you know, uh, Sean George, I have to salute him. You know, I think he works well with Zili Zhang and, you know, a good partnership is important. You know, with with any successful uh, team, and and they shouldn't take Joseph Parker lightly because Joseph Parker's happy. Now, you know the the strange thing is Joseph Parker. I like Joseph Parker. I like Joseph Parker. His demeanor. I, he hasn't seemed to let stuff go to his head, but you definitely see a glow. Let's just hope that glow doesn't turn into anything else negative or 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 distracting. Because sometimes you can do something and that may be all you ever do if you like if you let that one thing you've done be all end all, be all and end all. You know, if that only thing you've done 
is, oh, I beat Wilder. Well, if Wilder retires, okay. You know what I mean? Like, what does that really mean? You know what I mean? If you don't do anything else in the sport, you got to keep going. You know, because if he gets knocked out by Zili Zhang, then everyone with the uh, uh, the triangular theory will think Zhang's just better than everyone. Oh, he's better than Parker. He's better than Joyce. Oh, man, Dubois don't have a chance. That type of shit. You know, he's better than Wilder, too, without even fighting Wilder, because according to those guys that think that way, they think all you have to do is beat the guy that beat the guy and you don't have to beat the other guy that he beat. People think that way. You know what I'm saying? And that's not true in boxing. You know, when people match up, their formulas match up with them and everything and every formula is different. OK. You don't have any dominant formulas in boxing. You don't. And Zili Zhang, I think they get it because the style of Parker, that's why they train so hard. If it was that easy, you know, and that's why I'm kind of disappointed in Wilder because maybe Wilder thought that shit. Maybe Wilder thought, well, you know what? Um, I'm just better than everybody because I'm eating up the idea that everyone said that I was better than everybody. Therefore, I'm better than everybody. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Well, that's not true. You have to get your ass in the gym. You have to show other, you, you have to be prepared to do something else, to show a fighter something else. What happens if you break your fucking hand in the ring? You're going to have to find another way to uh, win or quit or forfeit, right? So, yeah, back to Zili Zhang and his team with Sean George. Um, I hope they don't overlook him. And I think, I think really Zhang has a good focus, or his team does at least. That's how it seems. Simply because they know, hey, man, Parker has just shown everybody that he is here to win and he is here to stay, him and Andy. And see, one thing about Sean George, he respects his trainer too because he knows that Andy and Andy and Andy and his fighter, they're they're in sync. You know what I'm saying? So this is a competition thing of team versus team because Sean George knows, hey, I have my work cut out for me because this ain't a guy that's going to sit there like Joe Joyce and let me well on him and counter him. No, Parker will come in and come out. He got the footwork. He's a young lad, okay? He ain't that... Oh, he ain't 38. He ain't 40. He ain't 35. He's 31 years of age. You know what I'm saying? He might, he just been around a long time, but still he has the experience. He has the youth and he, you know, he might've peaked at this point. Maybe, maybe not, but he's here and he's ready and he's definitely game. And I think Sean George should feel the same bars, but you guys tell me what you think about team Zhang stating that they're not going to do what Deontay Wilder did. They're going to be focused, ready for Joseph Parker. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.